Hello guys, welcome back or welcome here if you are new. My name is Amy. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking all about some books that I picked up recently and one of them is a brand new and then the rest of them are just new to me. Now I told myself, Amy, you're not going to buy any more books until you start working on some of your TBRs. And I'm happy to report that my summer reading has been doing really well. I've got through almost my whole stack of summer books, so I'm excited to share all about those. That should be my very next video. But like I said, in this video today, I'm just going to show you some books that I have picked up. I think I found some good ones, so let's just see what I got. Okay, so the first book that I purchased is actually brand new. This is from Barnes & Noble. So I'm filming this video on August 11th and that is my husband's birthday. We went out of town this weekend. We went back up to Georgia to spend some time with my dad and just relax for, you know, a few days towards the end of summer. School's going to be starting back soon for me and everything. So we wanted to have a one more little getaway. So we kind of did that for his birthday and then so we took some days off. He goes back to work um, on a Friday. Me, I go back Thursday. Anyway, so we did whatever he wanted to do for his birthday while we were out. We ended up at a Barnes and Noble and I found this book in the wild and it is A Love and a Little White Lie by Tammy L. Gray. I heard about this book several, several months back or maybe, maybe it was even last year. Since then, I have heard nothing but good things about this book and I was looking for it to kind of, I was trying to find it at a discount could not find it on any of the online sites, discounted, and I've never seen it in the wild. Well, I finally saw it and I went ahead and picked it up. It was $15.99, but I'm so excited to read this. I can't wait. And you guys, this cover is just so beautiful. I love it. I love this big tree here. I just love the sky with some stars, just the colors, how they pop. It's just so pretty. So. I don't know a lot about this. I've heard a little bit that it's very good. So happy that I finally got my hands on this book. So I cannot wait to dive into this. I have a question. Whenever I come on here and I do these book hauls, do you guys want me to share the synopsis on the backs? I'm just curious, do you guys want me to include that in these haul videos just so we can all kind of get a better feel of what the book is about? If you guys would like me to do that, please let me know down below and I can make that happen. Now let's move on to the rest. I think this one is going to be added to my short list like pretty quickly. So like I said, we did go back to Georgia. So on our way home, I've mentioned this a few videos back. We stopped back into Second in Charles because you guys, that store has like the best Christian fiction section like ever. I mean, it's so organized, it's alphabetized. There's just so many books to choose from. So the first one I'm going to show you is another one that I have heard great things about. It's a Christmas book. This is Catching Christmas by Terry Blackstock. And I am so excited I found this book. Now, Terry Blackstock is already one of my very favorite authors. She is the first author I've ever read. The book series that I read from her was The Suncoast Chronicles. And ever since then, I've just loved her writing, very fast paced. She's a great writer. And so this is different. I don't know a lot about this book, but normally her books are like, you know, suspense type books. But this one I've heard really good things about. And so when I found it at first, I was like, I don't know because it's a hardcover and I'm just, I'm a paperback gal. I really am. But I went ahead and picked it up because I did hear such good things about it. And again, by Terry Blackstock, I got it used for $5.95. So it's in great condition, so I went ahead and picked this up. I think I'm gonna like it. Okay, and next, so you saw me haul this series back on the first video. I'll post it here, my first time into Second and Charles. Anyways, and so I had picked up a series called the Chapel Springs Romance Series by Denise Hunter. I thought that series was just a three book series, but I was wrong. There's four. And so, of course, I had to get book four and they had it and I do remember seeing this when I was there but once I found out that this was part of that whole series I went ahead and picked it up and this is called Married Till Monday and again by Denise Hunter so I did read book one in this series Barefoot Summer which I will talk about coming up in my next video 
and I definitely am going to continue this series. I actually followed Denise Hunter on uh, Facebook. I was just scrolling and someone had asked her what her two favorite or what her favorite books were of all the ones she's written and she's written quite she's been an author for about 25 years and so she said that her favorite books were Sweet Briar Cottage, Dancing with Fireflies which is book two and Married Till Monday book four and so I was like really and then a lot of people commented under her message saying that those two were their favorites too and I said okay I definitely want to keep going in this series and just kind of check it out for myself so I'm happy that they still had this there so now I do have the complete four book series all right next I did get another sequel and this is a rescue me by Susan May Warren this is book two in the Montana rescue series so I do have a book one which is a wild Montana sky so I have yet to read that book but I've never seen a book two anywhere, like out in the wild at any of the bookstores. And so I said, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and pick this up. And I believe, I believe Oshina, I think it was her, I think she read this recently or she found it recently. She seems to like that series. So I went ahead and decided to pick it up. It was only $3.75. And for me, I, that is such a great price because a lot of you guys come on here telling me you found books for like a dollar, 50 cents. I don't find that. So $3.75 is a great price. This is in like new condition and it's book two. So I had to get it. I'm excited now that I have book one and book two. And then lastly, this is an author I've never read before, but the author is Carla Loriano. So I hope that I said that correctly. I have heard of her before, but this is book one in the McDonald Family Trilogy. I read the synopsis on the back. It sounded intriguing. She's going to be in Scotland. I don't know if she already lives in Scotland or if she's just going to Scotland, but I thought that was kind of neat. So I said, you know what, I'm gonna try that out. And um, I don't know, it, it, it sounded pretty good. So I'm gonna give this a try, a new author. So I'm just gonna read a little excerpt here on the back. Author Carla Loriano weaves romance, hope, healing, and faith into a spunky and a sparkling tale that made me sorry to say goodbye to the characters in the alluring Isle of Skye. So I read that little excerpt and I was I was definitely interested then. I said, okay, I've got to pick up this book and give it a try. So yeah, I'm excited to read what's in these pages. So that's what I have for you guys today. So I've got five new books to add to my TBR, my ever-growing TBR, but I am happy that I have been able to read some books and kind of get some off the list to make room for a few more. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And again, let me know down in the comments if on these videos, if you would like me to kind of share a little more overview. We all know there's only so much we can pick up from reading a synopsis. But if you would like me to include that again, go ahead and let me know. I'm going to go get ready for a birthday party for my hubby. Bye guys.